how to turn on or off clipboard history and use it to save, view, and paste multiple items in Windows 11. To access your clipboard history, you'll need to press the Windows key and V at the same time. Once you've done that, a small window will open, taking you to your clipboard. Here, you'll need to turn on your clipboard history to be able to copy and view multiple items. Turn on your clipboard history by simply clicking on Turn On. Once you've done that, your clipboard history has been activated. As you can see, currently we have nothing here. However, once we've copied something, it will appear here. So for this video tutorial, I'm going to be copying three items. The first item will be something from our browser, which will be in plain text. Following that, we'll copy an image from the snipping tool. And finally, we'll copy a formatted text from a text editing program. So first, I'm going to open up my browser and I'm going to copy this link in my address bar. So I'm just going to highlight it all. I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to click on copy. And now this text URL address, which is my YouTube channel link, has been copied to the clipboard history. Next, I'll open up the Windows snipping tool. As you can see, I have a snip of my web explaining YouTube channel desktop shortcut. I'm going to right click on this image and I'm going to click on copy. This will copy it to my clipboard history. And finally, I'm going to open up my text editor, which is WordPad, and I'm going to copy the word web explaining, which as you can see is in the Calibre font of font size 11, it's bolded using italics and it's underlined. So I'm just going to highlight this, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on copy. Now that we've got the three items copied to our clipboard, let's press the Windows key and V at the same time to bring up our Windows history. As you can see, the three items, the formatted word web explaining, the snipped image and my browser URL address have all been added to my clipboard history and are viewable. Now what I'm going to do is paste each of these items into a Word document. So I'm just going to open up my Word document here and then I'm going to press the Windows key and V again to bring back up my clipboard history. And I'm first going to begin by pasting in the word web explaining, which is a formatted text by left clicking on it to paste. And as you can see, the text web explaining retains the formatting from the other text editor. I'm just going to press enter to go to the next line here. And I'm going to press the Windows key and V again at the same time. Now, if you want to paste text without any formatting in simple plain text, then go back to your Windows history. And I'm going to look for the word web explaining. And I'm going to click on these three horizontal dots here to see more options. And then I'm simply going to click on the icon paste as text. And there we go. We have pasted in the word web explaining free of any previous formattings. I'm going to press enter to go to the next line here. Let's paste the image snippet that we copied from the snipping tool. So I'm going to press the Windows key and V again, and then I'm going to simply click on the image that I copied. And there we go. We have now pasted in the snipping tools image that we copied. I'm going to press enter on my keyboard to go to the next line. And finally, I'm going to press the Windows key and V on my keyboard once again, and I'm going to paste in the link that I copied from my browser by simply clicking on it. And I'm going to press enter on my keyboard. And there we go. We have copied and pasted from our clipboard here history, three different forms of items. The first item is formatted text and the unformatted version, an image from our snipping tool, this text and this image are from our local device, and lastly from our browser, a text link. Going back to our clipboard history, I'm just going to press the Windows key and V again, just to talk about the pin symbol here. So if you want to save a particular copied item to your clipboard history, you can simply click on the pin icon next to it. So let's say I wanted to save this copied image to my clipboard history. For the long term, I would simply click on this pin icon here to pin the item. Now let's say if we wanted to clear the clipboard history, all we would need to do is click on clear all. And as you can see, only the pinned item has been retained in the clipboard history. If you didn't want to retain it anymore, you would simply click on this pin symbol again to unpin the item. And then you can click on clear all and then there'll be nothing saved in your clipboard history. Now, if you don't want to use the clipboard history anymore and you want to turn it off, you can do so by simply navigating to your windows icon. For me, it's at the bottom left hand corner here by clicking on it, go to the search box and type clipboard space settings. Once you've typed this in, look for the best match, which should be the clipboard settings in your system settings and simply click on it to open. Once your clipboard settings has opened, look for where it says clipboard history, navigate to the right hand side. And as you can see, it's currently toggled on to toggle it off. Simply click on the toggle to toggle it off. And there we go. Our clipboard history has now been disabled. And if I press the Windows key and V at the same time again, you can see that clipboard history is indeed off as you are being prompted to turn it on. All right, so that pretty much concludes this video on how to turn on or off clipboard history and use it to save, view and paste multiple items in Windows 11. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.